Hello and welcome to this EasyBots tutorial. EasyBots is a tool for automating solutions meant to be used for developers and enthusiasts which help you solve numerous problems in a matter of minutes instead of days or hours. For example, with EasyBots you can build a solution that monitors Git repository and notifies when there is a new commit, a solution that detects motion, a solution that enables you to send files from your remote computer to your email and more. If you have Visual Studio or Eclipse on your computer, then definitely you should install EasyBots. Today we're going to cover how to monitor and receive notifications for new created file in a specified directory. This can be of help and we are able to connect our email, phone or other type of communication system to notify us the minute our system recognizes a new file in that directory or folder. Now this here is my EasyBots studio and I'm logged into my EasyBots account. If you do not have an EasyBots account, you can register and create one at www.easybots.com. What you're seeing here is a simple IDE from where you can start creating your EasyBots solutions. This here is the solution editor where you can actually begin creating your EasyBot solutions and automating specific things. On your right is the properties panel, widely used when working with actions and triggers. Now this section is very important, but let's not get into it right now. We will explain everything whilst we start creating the solution. This is the Apps Manager, a place where all your installed apps and bots are, and from where you can work with them. Now let's navigate to the navigational panel and see what we have here. We have the public store for, for the solutions. And uh, here you can find uh, numerous type, types of solutions that uh, our community, the DZBots community created for you and you can use. We have the private store and we have the shared with me tab. Uh, if you decide one day to create a solution of your own, you can save it to your private store or uh, you can make a decision to share it with the community. This here uh, is another additional part of the navigational panel. And uh, as you can see, we have an installed app. We have nothing installed at the moment. Uh, we can go to the public app store and see all the applications that uh, we have on EasyBots at the moment. Uh, additionally, you have private app store and shared with me app store. And uh, these are uh, pretty much the same with the solution. So you can create an application, uh, uh, develop it on your own and save it to the private app store or share it with specific people. You also have develop and manage apps, account settings uh, and help and support. Okay, so now let's use the navigational panel. Click on editor and navigate to the solution panel. Go to the solution editor and create a new solution. Click on the button add new solution and uh, begin creating your EasyBot solution. We're going to name it uh, monitor for new files in a specified directory. Create solution and we have added the solution on our solution panel. To start building the solution, we need software bots that know how to work with files and send emails. Remember, we can look for the needed software bots in the public app store. Use the navigational panel again and navigate to the public app store. And uh, now we're going to uh, use an application that's named emails, which contains bots that know how to send emails when, uh, when we want to. Click on run as and run it as a guest user. Just minimize this, don't uh, close it yet. And uh, we're going to use another application that's called Files in Process. Install this one as well and run it as, but this time you're going to run it as a current user. And this is because we want uh, the application to grant us access to the files on our disk. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, solution editor. Now the applications that we have installed are actually standalone application and you can find them here. And uh, now we're going to use uh, the files and process app to create a new bot. Now bots contain actions and triggers and uh, we need to create uh, a new bot in the files and process application. You can name it, name it whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to name it uh, download folder 
but because I'm going to monitor my downloads folder and below that you can choose the directory that you want to monitor as I said we're going to, uh, going to choose uh, downloads folder and click selected folder and click the add button now since you've uh, clicked on the add button you can, you can just minimize this go to the apps navigational panel expand the files and process and you can see that our bots is now on the list of the files and process bots so actually the easybots applications are nothing more than collections of bots that provide user interface for adding new bots uh, if we expand this we can see that the bot contains four uh, different triggers and uh, we can if we expand those then we can see uh, the return values of each of the triggers. Uh, we're just going to uh, use the created trigger and uh, now uh, we have to remember one thing and I cannot stress this enough every solution must start with a trigger. This is because in order for our solution to begin its activities we need something to happen. I'll simply uh, drag and drop this trigger onto my solution and now when a file is created in the directory that I'm monitoring, the trigger will be raised. That's how the solution is going to work. So when the trigger is raised, I want to send an email as a notification. Now we're going to use the emails application. We can open it from here. And we want to log in with our email. We're going to be using the EasyBots email, easybots.com. Click on login. And now the email is added. We can minimize this. And from the apps navigational panel, uh, you have uh, a bot email sender expanded. And uh, these are actions. We're going to be using the send email since we want to send an email. And just drag and drop it onto the trigger. But there is a problem with our solution. As we can see it's red. Every time this happens just go to the lowest node of the tree, hover over it and read the description. Input value is not specified. So if we click on it it will lead you to the properties panel on your right and what we want to do now is just uh, change some input values, just expand this and expand the input message now in this first line I will enter um, a new file has been created press enter the next line no, let's get a bit, little bit fancy and send the absolute path of the file that has been created so in the second line I'm just gonna add a new line and on the third line I will return the full name of the of the file now it says on download folder bot just return the full name and uh, this uh, message that is going to be sent on an email is actually going to be the three lines concatenated. Just close this, open up the input subject, it's just the subject of the email. Um, new file on your computer, press enter, close it, expand the to tab, it's uh, the receiver of the mail. I'm going to use the same email address I used before, easybots.com and it's no longer red, as you can see. Now, uh, just one more thing. Um, each time, for example, using Google Chrome, when you, send, when you uh, download a picture, it saves it initially as a .cmp extension. Now, this means that it's uh, going to create a temporary file, but the trigger will... Uh, will be raised uh, no matter what but we want to exclude this we want to just aim for the real files now uh, if we want to do that we're, we're gonna need a condition so just uh, right click on condition add a new condition and if we click on it again you will have to use the properties panel to set some inputs uh, we have the left operand right operand conditions and operator for the left operand we want to choose the full name of the file condition will be string condition since we are working with uh, strings the operator is going to be not ends uh, not ends with 
and not ends with what with a dot tmp and there we go now we have a fully working solution that monitors for new files in a specified directory I really hope this video helped if you were looking for a solution as such, or if you're just beginning with EasyBots. The possibilities are really endless. With EasyBots, you can automate pretty much anything. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at support at easybots.com. Also, check our other available solutions in the public store, or check our blog at blog.easybots-community.com where you can find more solution to some interesting problems. Links will be in the video description below. Thank you for watching.